favorite rock and roll star, guitar king of Thailand, Mr. Lam Morrison. Hi, everybody. Hey, hey. One, two, two. We're the dark side.
the Sports Lounge in Soy One off Prattamnack is home to all your favourite sports and food. From nine in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast, and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soy One Prattamnack in the Pattaya Heights condominium with plenty of parking. This is Thai time with me, Tommy D and Crew Fon. Good Sabadi morning. Sawadi crap. Sabadi mai. Sabadi ma ka. What are we going to learn today? To sign something. Oh, to sign a document? Yes. Okay. Sen. Sen. Yes. Sign is sen. Sen. That's easy. Mm? Pom sen, I sign. Pom sen. And if you want to sign like a, like sen shu. What does that mean? Shu, you remember? Call. Name, name. Oh, s- Sen Chu. Signature? Yeah. Oh, okay. So your signature is Sen Chu. Actually, your uh, the signature is Lai Sen. Lai Sen? Yes, the signature. And what is Sen Chu? Is that you make, like, uh, you sign your name in here. Sen okay. Chu. So the, the, when you're doing your signatures mm-hmm. for your visa, mm-hmm. the lady could say Sen Chu Ka. Yes. Which means please sign here. Yes. And... To sign it, to sign it, to, to to make your signature is what? Licen. Licen. Yes. Like license. Licen. Yes. Licen crap. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you want to buy a condo or a house or a car, you have to sign, right? Mm-hmm. You have to sign a contract. Right. Then contract is sanya. Sanya. Actually, by sanya. So it'd be licen by sanya. Sen sanya. Sen Sanya. Is to sign the contract. Sen Sanya. Yes. Sign the contract. Right. Sign the contract and you're signing up for 100 years of paying how much a month? Sen Ya. Sen Sanya. Sen Sanya. Sign the contract. Yes. Excuse me swallowing that. Too much coffee. Tide time on Fabulous 103 and we'll be back tomorrow. Now we know, at least we'll understand it when they say, sign here please. Coco Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members. And you get their state-of-the-art fitness equipment, air-conditioned studios, and a choice of classes too. Jets buy three months, get one free. Six months, get two free. Twelve months, get three free. And for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now. From 7 a.m. through till 11 at night, Coco Fitness. No excuses. Despite being the largest ever rescue operation in the history of Thailand and involving operators from numerous countries, The fate of a junior football team trapped by flooding in a Chiang Rai cave system can't yet be ascertained. The 8km cave system flooded as the youngsters and their team trainer explored. Since then, there's been no word from them. As Thailand watches on, so new pumps and pipes and ideas fail to lower the water levels, with one expert explaining to us that it's like trying to pump out our own Lake Maprachan two to three times on a rainy day. Divers and ROVs, all relying on air supplies from above, can only travel limited distances and are swimming blind in black waters. Good news for traditional mail posters, as the Thai postal system is dropping the price of express mail by nearly 25% in an attempt to revitalize the service. Parcels under 20 kilograms will be at the lower price to compete with other courier services. EMS was the postal delivery flagship and still remains the most reliable of delivery services. One type of tourism that's on the up is life on the ocean wave. News that seven new marinas are planned around the Gulf was greeted with pleasure by those already in operation, such as our own Ocean Marina Yacht Club, and they're expected to boost Thailand towards becoming the sailing hub for Southeast Asia. Police continue to investigate the death of a 60-year-old British driver in Udon Thani who fled police before smashing into the back of an HGV. 
At the scene, drugs were found in his vehicle. A further search of his home revealed a considerable amount of various drugs packed all ready for supply. The father of a young child here, he'd fled after being approached by police and it's suspected that they'd inadvertently interrupted a drug delivery run. With his three-year term coming soon to an end, the US ambassador to Thailand appears to be getting carried away with his briefs. Comments on the political situation here reminded reporters of his arrival here three years ago and an our way or the highway approach, which led to his spending much of his time here without anyone hearing a peep from him. It's hoped that he'll be replaced with an ambassador who recognises the nation's individuality and independence. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, Saturday saw the Thailand branch of the Royal British Legion celebrating Armed Forces Day, which in the UK is an annual recognition of servicemen. Here in Pattaya, they pulled out all the stops at the Tropical Bar to ensure an enjoyable afternoon for ex-servicemen and their pals. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 31, dropping down to 27 and a good chance of storms at some time, we're told the real feel today is around 40, so wear a hat. And that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and of course Pattaya, the city of fun. Today in Russia Update from the BBC. Hello, I'm Alastair Ross at BBC Sport. Two games and two penalty shootouts on Sunday. Croatia beat Denmark on spot kicks after a dull one all draw. Both goals came in the opening four minutes. Luka Modric missed a spot kick that could have won it for Croatia late in extra time, but in the end, they edged the match 3 2 in the shootout. The former England defender Terry Butcher was watching for the BBC. Well, that's the worst I've seen Croatia play in this World Cup. Um, you generally think you're going to get better the more the competition goes on. And, and if this is their stinker, then they've, they've got it out of the way and, and got away with it, really. Uh, Denmark, well, um, they couldn't have given much more. They are a limited side, but they're a very, very tough side to play against. Meanwhile, hosts Russia are through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup after upsetting 2010 champion Spain on penalties at the Lizhniki Stadium in Moscow. That was one all after extra time with Russia, the lowest ranked team at this tournament, winning the shootout 4-3. Spain came into this tournament in disarray, having sacked coach Julian Lopetegui two days before their opening game after he agreed to join Real Madrid without telling the Spanish FA. The FA president, Luis Rubiales, told the BBC he had no regrets. Yeah, when you take a decision with the values and with conviction, you have never to think about it again. No? Two or three uh, points no, are not negotiable, like values, like conviction, like responsibility, and we are, we are uh, so calm with the decision we took. And on Monday, it is the Battle of South America when Brazil take on Mexico in Samara. Brazil's head coach Chiche has confirmed left-back Felipe Luis will start the match, replacing Marcello, who limped off during their last game against Serbia. And in the later game, Japan, who only managed to get through to this round because they had fewer yellow cards than Senegal, they play contenders Belgium. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. Today in Russia Update from the BBC. Coming up next, Patia Mail taking you on a road trip. Serious about losing weight and getting fit? Why not put yourself in the capable hands of the one and only weight loss centre in Patia that uses both CrossFit and cardio martial arts? Let us plan a fitness program that focuses on your individual needs. Or create a program with a broad set of martial arts experiences. Visit combatgroup.com and start training alongside champions. Take advantage of our special monthly promotion for only 200 baht per session. Combat Group, your one stop for fitness, weight loss and martial arts. Right there, Jeff Carter here, and uh, I'm looking a bit bog-eyed, aren't I? That's because it's only half past six, 6.30am, 
and today he decided to come up to Pratham Neck, that's in between Pattaya and John TM, and I've come up to Buddha Hill. This sign here says Wat Pra Yai. That means temple. The largest Buddha image of Chomburi. Okay, so and that's up there. I'm sure you can see him from here. There you go. Well, it looks like I've got to climb all these stairs now. Is that the stairway to heaven? I don't know. Let's go. There's a lot to climb, so let's make a move. And there he is. The big Buddha. Hey, it's good up here, you know, if you get up early, because if you come later on, there'll be lots of people here, and it's better for taking photographs and videos and things. There's only me and these three dogs up here at the moment. Great, isn't it? And if you come over this side, you can see all over John TM and the beach. Look at that. Fantastic. So there we have the little tour at the top of Pratamnat, Buddha Hill. That was good, wasn't it? I'm going to go back down now. I'm going to get a little drink and then uh, make my way back. Hope you enjoyed this little movie. If you want to get here, you just jump in a back bus or um, ask for a taxi driver to bring you up here. But it's all good stuff. And uh, I think it's best to get here early in the morning or at sunset. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit. Bye-bye. Coming up next, fabulous food. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more, and more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar, with 50 TVs including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide.
coming up next on Fabulous TV Patia. The Sports Lounge in Soy One off Pratham Neck is home to all your favourite sports and food. From nine in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast, and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soy One Pratham Neck in the Patia Heights condominium with plenty of parking. Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am about a 15 kilometer drive south of Patia City. I am here at the beautiful Wat Yan. It's a complex of all different temples, all different architectural styles. It really is a wonderful place to bring your family for the day out. As you can see, we are here at the highest point, the highest temple, and you can see this amazing view over Patia City. There's also lakes and beautiful gardens. So certainly a great place to bring your family for a wonderful full day out. Let's check it out. Fifteen kilometers south of Patia lies the enormous Wat Yan temple complex. It's located at the kilometer 160 exit of Sukhumvit Road, close to the beautiful Silver Lake Gardens, and set on the Banglamung Mountain. Set in a huge area of over 145 acres, it's the perfect place to visit to explore the different architectural styles of the Thai temples and learn more about Thai history and Buddhism. Wat Yan was built in 1976, and although it is relatively modern, it is one of the most significant temples in the Pattaya area. The temples are surrounded by beautiful lakes and tranquil gardens, making it the perfect spot for ultimate relaxation. Whilst you're exploring the buildings, you'll encounter a variety of Buddhist relics and exhibits, including life-size wax figures of Buddhist monks. It's the perfect place to visit to learn more about the history of Thai Buddhism and culture. It's believed to be the heaven for those who love to meditate, and meditation classes are offered daily at 6am and 6pm. Wat Yan is a free-to-enter tourist attraction with ample parking. Remember to dress respectfully and always remove your shoes before entering any of the temples. One of the most must-visit parts of Wat Yan is the Hilltop Shrine, located on the highest point of the mountain. After climbing the steps leading up to the shrine, you'll be able to take in the most beautiful views overlooking Pattaya City. Music 